Good morning, fans. Privateer FX. Coming at you on a lazy Monday in June. After some wild headlines uh, over the weekend. Obviously, the Wagner Rebellion, we'll call it. Uh, at one point, marching towards Moscow in a military column. 60,000 convicts with weapons and tanks going to hunt down Mr. Putin. I mean, it looked like a DC comic book uh, episode at one point. Um, nobody knew where that was going. And now all of a sudden it's, it's over, right? Uh, you know, I don't know. Putin made, made friends. Again, with, uh, I don't know what you would call him, uh, I don't know, is he a psychopath, Yevgeny Prigozhin, or is he a mastermind, or is he, was he drunk, I don't know, uh, but now Yevgeny and Vlad are friends again, uh, Yevgeny's gonna go hang out in Belarus, it's not a bad, not a bad outcome for him, right? Probably one of the most hunted men in the world. Uh, now he gets to hang in Belarus. Uh, God, I don't know. So FX was closed, so really nothing happened. Looked like it was going to be massively risk off. We were talking about over the weekend on Saturday morning. Our team was talking about like. Which commodities are we going to buy? And, you know, how is this going to do with aluminum and zinc? And we're going to buy oil. And, um, but uh, and then it just died. So here we are. Uh, nothing to do. And now we're stuck with the bitter taste of Friday's trading. Um, let's go to Euro Yen. We were short uh, over the PMIs. Obviously, looking pretty good. And we didn't write it on Twitter, but we were about to. We were like, oh, psych, uh, cycle highs are in, in uh, Euro Yen. And they may still be in, because we didn't make a new high. Uh, but, you know, trade it all the way down to, you know, one one fifty five oh five all the way back up to 156 sort of 70 um i'm sorry what was it 82 the high you know 70 don't even have my glasses on 156 72 um we took our stops uh, at break even which was 40 and left us with a bitter bitter, angry pill that, to swallow um, on Friday. Spent the weekend with imposter syndrome, which those of you who have been trading for for more than more than five minutes will recognize this is this is this happens. Um, and now we're just uh, we're self coaching now this morning saying number one, grow the fuck up. Uh, number two, raise your game. Um, number three, there's always another trade. So, but yeah, battling what was a very, very frustrating Monday. Um, we put a lot of chips on the table. Everything looked pretty spectacular. And then you just get kicked in the balls and you're like, what the fuck? Same thing, Sterling Yen wasn't as juicy on the downside. Sterling yen, um, but still we were we were happily short. Um, ended up scratching it. You know, at one point we were ninety points in the money. Um, thinking about cycle highs, you could say the same thing. Oh, actually, one thing we weren't we weren't short Aussie yen, which is actually was the real winner of the day. Um, Aussie and didn't retrace nearly as much and still looks quite offered. Are we 
Are we going to see 98.50 in Aussie N? That sort of this high up here, it doesn't look like it. Aussie N looks like it's looks like it's changed direction. Also, gold, gold was okay. You know, as we wrote on Twitter, we bought 15s. Um, we actually did sell some at 34, but then the balance we just puked out. I mean, we didn't puke out. It was 10 bucks in the money at 25, just because at one point we had the we had the bullish engulfing, and it looked like we fucking nailed it. Um, but then we just and we may regret this to be fair um, because we have made a new high we haven't come close to making a new low our average is 1900 we are looking for a turn down here um, but the overall pressure and frustrations from cross yen caused us just to square the books completely um, and we start fresh this morning but gold again 20 bucks in the money bullish engulfing from the lows it was looking pretty perfect and then all of a sudden thing drops 20 bucks uh, and closes where did it end up closing 19 20 it closed at 22 um, so we'll see muted start to this morning uh, no sense in like diving into things here. Just pulling up, um, pulling up the calendar for today. We do have the SNB uh, Jordan speaking at ten fifty, but otherwise we have Christine Chrissy Lagarde at seven thirty p.m. The fun really starts tomorrow as far as data. Canadian CPI is out. Um, CAD's been on a tear. If that comes in softer, that could be a bit bit of a retrace there. We also have durable goods in the U.S., which is moderately important. Um, consumer confidence. Bank of England, BOJ, and Fed on Wednesday. Um, GDP in the U.S. on Thursday. But really what we're all waiting for is Friday. Um, the PCE price index in the US that's the inflation indicator I have this odd feeling we're gonna hit, we're in for a summary uh, week um, a lot of the schools my eldest just finished her exams she's a senior in high school um, and as schools are finished, usually we have a lull in the market. I don't know what's going on in the U.S. schools, but I know the British schools are also uh, finishing or getting to the finish line. My youngest finishes this week. So I have a weird feeling we might have a quiet week. Um, it also might be just I have the concussion or the stunned concussion from Friday's trade, and I just need to be quiet today to just regain my footing. Who knows? Um, but anyway, we're sitting quiet today. Uh, no real big plans to plunge into any of this stuff. Just scratching our head um, and scratching our ass about the moves on Friday, then the news over the weekend, and then really the lack of volatility coming into today. I mean, it almost looks a little bit risk on here. Kiwi's up four tenths of a percent. Uh, stocks are up, I mean, two-tenths of a percent. Oil's mildly up. Um, but we're just stepping back, going to let things settle a bit after the, some big uh, big bars on Friday that ended up on the road to nowhere. But still, big bars, so we need things to settle a little bit. Uh, and so that's what we're going to do today. We will uh, have our eye on Euro Swiss when when uh, Jordan is speaking. We do think that um, there is no more inflation in Switzerland, and Euro Swiss is heading north. We just need to find the right point to get back into that trade and see where it's going. But right now, uh, no dog in that fight. Anyway, talk to you tomorrow, guys. Uh, have a good one.
Ciao.